Flexbox is one of the most powerful tools in CSS. It can take a messy layout and fix it in seconds. But the problem is that most beginners overcomplicate it and waste hours trying to figure it out. So in the next three minutes, I'll break it down for you. Simple, clear, no fluff. Let's go. To use Flexbox, you start with a container. Here's a super simple example. Now, if I give that container display flex, in CSS, the items line up in a row instead of stacking. That happens because Flexbox creates two invisible axes, the main axis and the cross axis. By default, the main axis goes left to right. But what if you want them stacked vertically again? Just add flex direction column. Now the main axis is vertical. Switch it back to row and it goes back to horizontal. Easy rule to remember, the main axis is simply the direction your items follow. Next up, moving things along the main axis with justify content. Using properties like flex start to put the at the beginning, flex end to push them to the end, center to put them in the middle, and space between, space around, and space evenly give you automatic spacing. This is where Flexbox starts to feel like magic. Okay, but what about the cross axis, the vertical side? That's what align items controls. Flex start sticks them to the top, flex end drops them to the bottom, and center keeps them in the middle. Here's the key. Justify content is the main axis, align items is the cross axis. Mix those two and you can place items anywhere you want. By default, Flexbox tries to shove everything into one line. Got too many items? They'll squish together. The fix is simple. Add flex wrap set to wrap. Now items jump to new lines automatically. And here's a bonus tip. Use gap to add spacing between items without using margins. Cleaner, faster, way less hassle. Now let's talk about how items behave inside Flexbox. There are three main properties. Flex grow lets an item expand to take up extra space. Flex shrink controls how much it shrinks when space is tight. Flex basis sets its starting size. Most of the time, you'll just use the shorthand flex. That makes all the items share space equally. Now, let's say you've set a line items center on the container. That means all your items line up in the middle on the cross axis. Cool. But what if one little rebel decides it doesn't want to follow the crowd? That's where align self comes in. Now, item three drops to the bottom while everyone else stays centered. And if you ever want to change the order of items, Flexbox has the order property. By default, all items have order zero, but you can change it. Changing the third item's order to negative one will bring it to the start, crank the number up, and it gets pushed further back. You just rearrange the entire lineup without even touching the HTML. And that's Flexbox in under three minutes. Quick recap, Display Flex turns it on, Flex Direction sets your axis, Justify Content and Align Items Control Positioning, and the Flex Shorthand handles sizing. Master these and CSS layouts stop being a headache. Now that you've got Flexbox down, make sure your CSS fundamentals are solid too. I put together a short CSS tutorial that gives you the perfect foundation. Click it and I'll see you there.